Hello everybody, it's Sarah here, the Able Diabetic, and I'm here this morning to talk a little bit about the Freestyle Libra system and how to use it. And in particular, I'm going to focus on changing the sensors that are used to do the continuous blood glucose monitoring. So this is a very simple process. It'll only take a few minutes and I'm just going to guide us through step by step. So this is the sensor that I've been wearing for the last couple of weeks. Um, and last night, in the middle of the night, actually, um, it stopped working. Um, and it does that at the end of the two week stint. Um, and if I show you what my um, my phone looks like, you know, I use the Libralink app, which is this yellow one here. Um, and you can see that it's now saying that I have to scan a new sensor and there's a red bar to say it's not working. And you can actually see that my, my graph ran out a few hours ago um, in the middle of the night. So I'm, I'm needing a sensor um, right now quite badly. OK, so we'll get back to that at the end. Um, but then, you know, what, what do we do about actually moving the sensor off? Well, it's very straightforward. Um, and the first stage of the process is to prep the arm that you're going to be using. So this is an alcohol um, wipe. And the arm is already clean, but I'm just going to use this prep pad to make sure that the area that's going to take the, um, the new sensor is clean. And that takes just a little moment to dry off. So I've done it right at the start. Um, the next thing, and I think this is kind of quite interesting, is that I'm going to remove this sensor from the arm. Um, and it's stuck to my arm by adhesive, which is very strong. It's been on for two weeks and it's lived through showers and all that kind of thing. And I'm literally just going to peel it off. So you can see that it leaves behind a little adhesive mark. Um, and then I'm going to show you this because I think it's quite interesting. So that's the front of the sensor, which is what you see all the time. And then this is the adhesive pad. And if you look very carefully, you can see that there's a little filament there. Um, and that's the thing that is in your arm all the time doing the glucose monitoring. So it's a very smart little thing. Um, it's the sensor as well that collects the data. So this is a pretty key piece of um, piece of equipment. OK, so moving on to the new one. So I've, I've done with the old one, that's it now. Um, but on to the new one. So this is the box that the sensors come in. And actually, it's a huge box um, for such a small little gadget. But you'll see in a second what's inside the box. So I don't need the instructions anymore. Let's move on to the stuff. So you end up with these two pieces here. Um, and what I'm, what I'm going to do is they're going to kind of go together. It's a very clever little um, deployment system. All totally sterile, etc. So there's this piece here, and then I screw, I screw this apart. Looks difficult, it isn't. And if you look in there, you can actually see the sensor that is going to um, end up on my arm. And this delivery system, you click this piece together like so, and it's all ready to go. So my arm is now completely ready. Um, it's clean, and all I do is literally put this against my arm like so, and I'm going to hit it with my fingers and the sensor's on. Very, very straightforward. And you can see that I don't have to do anything else. It's there, it's firm, it's stuck, and it's ready to go. Told you it was quick. Okay, the next step is, um, is to just connect the sensor to, to my app so that the data starts to flow. So you can see it says here, very clearly, scan new sensor. It knows that that's what's needed. So I'm going to scan new sensor. I'm going to put it against the sensor here. And you heard that little beep. That means everything's good. And so now the sensor's activated, it's just a question of waiting a few minutes to be able to actually get a reading. Um, and you can see that it's now yellow um, and it's telling me that the sensor can be used in 60 minutes. So we're not far away from being able to get a blood glucose reading. Um, the whole process is extremely simple, um, doesn't take a lot of time. Um, and I hope you found it useful going through it with me. Um, I'm Sarah, I'm the Able Diabetic. Um, you can see more about me and my book um, on my website, which is www.theabledibetic.com. Um, and of course, there are more videos on YouTube, which I hope you find useful. So thanks very much for listening, and I'll see you again next time.